Hi New Earth community, I'm Dee. Welcome to these collective messages. Now today we're going to be jumping into your energy as well as theirs to see what the message is today. Details to booking myself guys always in the box. Now please excuse me, um, hopefully I won't be struggling too much throughout this reading. I am trying to recover from a cold slash flu. So let's jump in. I hope everybody's keeping well to book any one of the programs in-depth reading guys or in the box to follow me to the channel that i did create <clears throat> infinite light the link is below thank you so much sophia okay we have stop doubting the connection this is your flame okay this is about trusting trusting learning how to trust um understanding what this connection is here to do right like you see all these um superheroes right this connection is bigger than fucking ben Hur. like <laughs> to be really honest guys like i get it right um it's time to focus on oneself and it's time to 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 work through the triggers right and when we say work through the triggers um your logical sense right is not your truth right now this is all of the all of the decks come pre-shuffled right this is understanding your true wants wishes and desires and dreams believing it, it can come true but it, it's not about doing it out of control out of a lack out of fear well, anytime we want to control a situation um we're not trusting it's going to come true right and this is something that <clears throat> there were so many moments within my my childhood that i needed to go back and 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 reteach and and come to a neutral right and release because I experienced, you know, the lack of love, the lack of um, guidance, um, the things that I wanted in life, things that were available to me as a um, as an individual, right? Both through affection, love, tenderness, care, TLC, right? Somebody actually looking after you to the emotional state, right? Not feeling love, so um, you know, emotional abuse, neglect when you have felt there's tr that that trauma and uh, you told yourself as a child to stop believing in your dreams because you just believed it never to come true through what you experienced within your childhood you cemented that that doubt right it's about going back and doing the inner work here guys it doesn't matter if you have to revisit memories to build up that confidence to 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 understand you know when 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 it's times of um understanding what you want and 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 if they're not ready right you, you got to surrender it because it's 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 understanding we're not here to do things out of control out of emotional manipulation you know like i'll give you an example like <clears throat> like before i'd done any inner work um uh, you know my dream was to to be married and to be rich you know and to live where i wanted to live and that was all from you know what i saw on tv or the new or the or the movies you know what was going to make me internally happy and to be really honest i really didn't know that i was just <clears throat> i was just so caught up in my 3d world where it was well I, you know i'll go to work here this is where the i this is how much money I get per per fortnight or per month. I mean, I'm always getting paid per fortnight. Um, now my money comes in whenever I get booked, right? Uh, 
there were so many things controlling me. Not only my my own um, experiences, traumas, um, but the the world at large. And this is about understanding, right? When it's time to grow, when it's time to shift, you're gonna experience these these dark nights of the soul, and it's it's. <sighs> It's to break through the belief systems of doubt, right? Because you got to understand what it is to put one foot in front of the other. And if they're not ready, they're just simply not ready, right? But it doesn't mean that you take that leap. It doesn't mean that you fuck them off, right? It doesn't. It just means that you home it into you, and you you got to understand, right? What inner work is needed to to be done in order to release and grow and growth is not it's not easy like the last month and a half ago i was e i was able to even identify even more belief systems that were enabling behavior patterns that were so detrimental to the connections that i have now in my life um, through past experiences and I'm in totally grateful um, for those experiences because now I know better you know now I'm creating that 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 new win that, that new women life where you can you know it's about accepting things and understand what it is to build it right and it's coming out of the the self the the doubt right because I'll go back to what I experienced within my childhood and when I was doing the inner work in and amongst all of this, these, these aspects, um, you know, I didn't experience what I wanted in my life. Um, there was an extreme lack when it came to the emotional guidance, um, loving guidance, even that tough love guidance. Um, it was it was a sink or swim situation for me right and uh, from from the moment that i was able to look after myself i had to learn to do that in my best ability right because i was passed on passed on to to different people um <clears throat> and there was moments within my life where i truly told myself to stop dreaming to stop believing that things can come true because they simply don't because of the extreme lack there was through um, emotional state, right? Mental state, um, physical state. And it's coming out of all those doubts, right? And again, it is growth is pain. I don't know how else to say it. Like what... When you go through these dark nights of the soul, just understand you will come out of them. And it's, it's, it, you are strong enough, right? Because everything that you are experiencing here and what you've agreed to experience here, they chose you, you chose it as well. So you, you've got this. And this is why this community is here, in order for you to understand what's not the truth, right? What you're being naive on, um, what you're being cut throw it on even if it's learning to 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 be <clears throat> um at ease with you because for those of you that are doing the work and you're still needing to go deeper if you are still blaming yourself for anything right you, you're not at a neutral for it and that is still a negative book counseling right i'm not doing counseling right now myself but the the <clears throat> The information to the counseling sessions to everybody that does it within mission is all in the box okay book somebody who you are in who you align with who you resonate with all right let's jump into your message <clears throat> They're going through this massive dark night. They're going through it as well, right? And again, this is about understanding and having acceptance on things and understanding that, you know, if you tried it, there were so many years that I tried to control situations, so many years, right? And the more that I was able to have that inner 
a reflection, do the work, be supported by um, the network of, of star seeds, right, that are in this community to support myself. You know, it's really understanding the dynamics that you have within your space and the connections that you choose to have. Because everything that you experience as a child was out of your control. As an adult, you are here to understand what it is to take control of the life that you want to live, right? <clears throat> and you're not here to push, control, manipulate anybody, right? If anything, we're here as star seeds to come out of this conditioning, this wounding, and to teach, to influence, right? Now, their overall energy towards you, we have the justice and we have the magician, right? <clears throat> Your overall energy towards the connection, we have the four of cups and we have the nine of swords. Everything that I just said. When we are in and amongst belief systems, right, that are not of ours, we choose to focus on the negative. We choose to focus on what we, what we don't have and we're not appreciating what we do have right you guys have i mean i know that i have this community you know and for for things that have happened in the past with myself and understanding my own journey you know this 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 community has shown me even more compassion and empathy and strength and and, and sisterhood you know at the end of the day right um and you have this opportunity as well to have and to collaborate with with all of us and to understand that you know it is that there is space that you can create within your life where you can learn to trust where you can learn to to trust um the kindness the love the um the unconditional love of others right but when you have <clears throat> have been conditioned and you're in and amongst all the negative you continue to manifest nightmare situations within your life right <clears throat> you don't see the positives because you're too focused focused on the negative here right it is simply understanding that we uh, nobody can do this alone nobody can do this alone like nobody can uh, for those of you that resonate with me you resonate with me Right. For, for, for those, for some of you that don't resonate with me, you may resonate more with somebody else within this community. You know, we're all different. We all come from different experiences, um, you know, different walks of life, different parts of the, of the world. And it's, it's designed that way. Right. For you guys to understand because you may resonate with she more one month and then you may you know i'm starting to um resonate more with with andrea or carla or myself right it doesn't matter who it is right or sonia or lorraine it doesn't matter all that matters is that you have found the group of people right that you as us have come here to influence this world for the better good and it's not done out of it cannot be done out of a lack we have to teach and learn right and and theoretically right become each other's support right because when what I experienced within my own life I was never supported right I didn't feel that and that was my truth and and how I then evolved into you know my, my pre-teens you know my teenager years my early 20s and now my 30s it all conditioned me to to how I saw connections how I saw the connection within my own self right and how I then related to others this is your opportunity to understand collaboration and collaboration with the right kind of people that are here to deliver you that 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 unconditional love right that tough love when you need it right that support that guidance that understanding right at the end of the day unconditional love at its purest where you can trust it but the thing is is that you have to learn to trust it 
you were guided to this channel or any one of the other channels for a reason for you to start to align right and to trust and to love correctly give me their energy i knew the king of cups was going to come out i don't know why like it's 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 about understanding love right they want to manifest here they want to bring justice balance into the connection here but this can't be done with just them doing all the work to say right because that energy is allowing it on their end and this can't be all of you doing all of the work right they got to come in with equal power <clears throat> It's about understanding wherever they're at, right? It's 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 their karmic lesson, right? But it doesn't mean that <clears throat> you exhaust or you feel as if you stay trapped to the situation, right? It, it means that it, it, love simply allows and supports. And when it comes to love, it has to be unconditional. And if you're not at a neutral, right, to whatever situation <clears throat> is currently happening between you and them, right, it's about getting there. Give me their next move towards you. Yeah, see, they're still running from third party whatever that may be right it's twin flame dynamic it's going to usually be more than one situation right like they work they've got side hustles um well and truly could have other connections right they've got children <clears throat> all of these things are a third party situation all by themselves right but if there's more which there usually is more than one case right whatever situation that they're getting caught up in it is their lesson to learn. And it is time for you to simply understand, right, where you're needing to address <coughs> and what you're needing to address within your life that is causing this nightmare situation for you. Because it's, when we're talking the Nine of Swords, this is, this is um, things that are external to you, right? This is about understanding what it is to completely home it in. To, to the life that you want and you creating that life and when we're talking the nine of swords energy this is always like you could literally have people in your ear right watching tarot family friends telling you to move away but the majority but the majority of you don't even talk about your person because of all the shit so it's the mind frame of things it's how society has taught you right how to think and how to look at a situation like this, what they're giving me here, it's like, you know, within the, the relationship dynamic of what I saw, my, my parents, it was toxic, it was volatile, right? It was very demeaning, it was very disrespectful, there was constant shouting, there was, it was chaos. And that's what I saw a, a relationship to be, it was chaos. It wasn't loving, right? I remember being up at night hearing the words, hearing the, the horrific noise of the shouting, the screaming, the, the domestic violence that was going on, right? It's coming out of those negatives, those negative ways of, okay, this is how a relationship should be and understanding, okay, right? I'm not saying that that's happening, right? But it's understanding coming out of this skewed perception of things to really understand the inner work what needs to be released in regards to negative connotations in and amongst connections, right? Wherever you're getting triggered, you've got to do the work, book counselling, because it all goes to one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So counselling is 100% needed. It doesn't matter how many I would have had. I wouldn't even know. I, I wouldn't even, like, above 10 counselling sessions discussing um, everything, because everybody's individual, right? Everybody's, it's, it, it, it all depends on how much you're willing and wanting and to come out of the lack to invest within yourself, right? Understanding what, what love feels for you, what love should be for you, 
right? And coming out of what it should look like, right? That picturesque of, you know, or I want a mortgage with somebody, I want a house with somebody, you know, it's 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 what you truly want, and that 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 can only come from you, right? Because whatever situation that they, they keep running um, in and out of here with the Seven of Swords to the Three of Cups, whatever third party situation, right? It's their lesson to learn, right? And <clears throat> even though they want to have this connection with you, right? And they want to, like if you're a secret with the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, they know that they, it, it can't be a secret. You know, it's like it, it, it will get to that point. <clears throat> and the only way for there to be balance to what they truly want to manifest here is them coming out of third party situations and that has to be on their timing this is understanding what it is to pull back to focus on yourself and to put in everything that you want for yourself because this is where the new emotional beginning starts you understanding what it is to focus on you and you filling your cup right like it goes on to an individual here right so when it's understanding where you're needing to pull back right because you cannot control you, you shouldn't want to or manipulate that's what all third party does right and guys if you the more that you understand where you've done this again wherever you feel like you you, you still blame yourself on situations because i did a lot of that right you simply need to go deeper. You simply need to revisit those um, those memories. Go through adult healing when it comes to all these aspects, right? All teachings within the union program, master program, all of the programs, sex mastery program. Um, I was going through the master this morning, right? And I'm also going through um, the money mindset, my own self. The more that you understand belief systems that you have been in and amongst, which have been to your detriment, that them upstairs you go through the program again that will take you deeper that will take you deeper and deeper to understand and again it's, it's about purging it's about releasing all of that negative till you get to a neutral right or teachings that you get with the in-depth of the one and one counseling okay now let's get because <clears throat> what it is to show up for yourself emotionally it all starts with you right because you're planting that seed you're understanding what your wishes wants and desires are like you know like my wishes wants and desires before i did any inner work it was all bullshit it was all shit that was programmed within me or shit within my lack more that i understand my own self what i'm wanting in my life right uh, the connections that i now have and what i choose for myself you know i look upon all the experiences that i had with previous relationships exes and i can understand more and what i mean and what's more meaningful to me more so how i show up for my own life and again the connections that i have both um romantic um and you know the people that i have within my life which is vision people you know it's 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 understanding the depths and the connections that you want to have and manifest and grow within your life right and it all starts off with how you you give to yourself right <coughs> right let's get messages from them you don't i do want you to meet my friends and family please give me time to sort myself first yeah they do want this, right? And it has to come in. It has to come in. You give to you right now, right? I do see twin flame signs. Right, I don't feel good enough for you, so I run. 
right? I want to love you, but I don't know how. This is about understanding, compassion, love, pull back here, guys, because when it came to understanding what love was, there's skewed perceptions here. Um, and I feel as if, you know, it, you, you, like, uh, like the, not, the, the nine of swords energy, it just, it always pulls me back to, you know, that moment in my own life, you know, where you just totally fear things, you know, fearing the connection, fearing the aspects to love, fearing um, and not understanding, right? And it's, it's going back into the inner child, right? To release that negative. Guys, book counseling here. Um, I regret everything that happened. You know, again, it's about getting to a neutral on things, okay? The more work that you can do from within and you can get a neutral on things, you're, you're getting deeper, right? I'm so sorry I hurt you. Please forgive me. <clears throat> For those of you that are struggling with forgiveness, um, you, you have to go deeper. You have to go deeper. Um, I struggle to express my love and feelings, so I keep it to myself. So anywhere that you feel as if, you know, you can't be in your truth, why? You know, do you feel as if, you know, I'm not going to get what I want, so i just got to keep my mouth shut and I'm just going to be stuck in this same um, cycle and you're doing it out of an automatic. It's in the subconscious. Again, book counselling because it's all inner work right negative connotations and this is about understanding like for me oh, i don't know what reading this came out i think it was sagittarius you may want to check out sagittarius's reading that i did yesterday <clears throat> when we're talking about the inner child past lifetimes even because there's you know there's, there's ancestral karma and things of this nature as well it's understanding your within your natal chart, your south node, and, and what your soul wants to experience and learn to get to the north node within this lifetime, okay? So go ahead and book Sheetal if you don't have a natal, or if you don't know your natal chart, right? I focus on money as I have nothing to offer you. They may be going through legal matters here as well, right? Um, and that's them understanding, right? <coughs> their belief systems that they're stuck in, right? To build it the way they've built, built things. And a Ten of Pentacles isn't something that takes one year to establish. No, this takes years to establish. So, you know, if your person is with somebody else, yeah, they've probably been with that other person for years, right? But it's you that they love, right? It's you <coughs> that they want to manifest here and they want this balance, this is the belief system that they're needing to break, right? And the more you focus on you, you elevate your energy, they will have the tower moments. Upstairs will surrender, uh, will sort them out, right? All teachings within the union program. <clears throat> what else do we have? I think that's it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this reading. If you would like to book me for your image, any one of the programs, it doesn't matter who you get the programs from, invest within yourself. If you have the programs, guys, revisit them. Um, take the time and take the initiative, right, to work on oneself because this is definitely the Knight of Swords energy is very, very heavy. These are deep fears, right, and this is all blocking your manifestation. Details to booking, guys, always in that box. Take care, and I'll see you next week.